Pentagon officials believe that this gun could well change the future of military combat. At first glance, the railgun looks like a high-tech naval cannon, but instead of gunpowder to fire this bullet, it uses a magnetic pulse. And it's unlike anything being used in contemporary warfare. Requiring a 25-megawatt power plant, enough to power nearly 19,000 homes, the electromagnetic gun catapults a football-sized projectile at Mach 6. That's more than 4,500 miles per hour. Once fired, that projectile becomes the military version of an asteroid, obliterating everything in its path. And unlike conventional bullets, which lose velocity from the moment they're fired, these projectiles gain speed as they go out through the barrel. With a range of up to 125 miles, the railgun can fire a round that would travel from Washington, D.C. to Philadelphia in under two minutes. Naval researchers hope that the railgun will not just be a potent offensive weapon, but can also help defend military bases and Navy ships. Because of our ability to launch these projectiles at great distance and with high accuracy, we're going to actually be able to engage ship to ship again in a way that we haven't in several decades in order to defend the Navy and to carry out its mission of taking other nations out of action and controlling the seas. Another adaptation? <laughs> the rounds designed for the railgun can also be used in a host of other weapons, vastly extending their range and power. You can fire out of naval guns, you can fire out of army guns, you can scale the guns, which provide you an awful lot of different launchers with a very, very deep magazine, a very, very cheap relatively, uh, rounds, uh, which will allow you to uh, track incoming uh, aircraft or missiles or ballistic missiles, cruise missiles, uh, and potentially shoot them down, like a big shotgun shell. The Pentagon is putting some $800 million into the railgun and its specialized bullets. The technology could give the U.S. a significant strategic advantage in surface combat against enemy combatants on land and at sea, including Chinese and Russian anti-ship missiles. They were build a missile at 15 million to target a 15 billion dollar aircraft carrier. Now we're able to defend that carrier at a fraction of the cost of what it costs to build the missile. We have changed the equation back to our advantage.